This elephant has got a fry. I really hope that he doesn't die. <laughs> My name is Thomas Edison. <laughs> and we're going to have some electric fun. No, Lynn, no. <laughs> Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. I'm Julia. And today we're also all Pokemon. I don't know. I don't think those are real. No, Nathan. they're Nathan. They're real, and Nathan has become one already. Nathan. No, they're so weird for real. And now it's happening to me, Jacob. Ew. Jacob. Nathan. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> what are we doing? There's a reason we're doing this. It's not. <laughs> it's there. You gotta believe you us. Gotta, please just stick with me for a bit. I promise. There's an explanation. I'm waiting. <laughs> We got a Patreon Dris Dra Driscord, <laughs> Droppy Driscord suggestion. Don't say that. We got a Patreon Droppy Discord suggestion from Vincent Gurgenti, and they said, they sent us a link, and they said, here's a generator that lets you make Pokedex entries from random strings of characters. Ooh. Do with it what you shall. Did which we... I like, because that gives me permission to do whatever I want, which I was going to do anyways. You did with it. <laughs> I did. I thought, what's a more fun random string of characters than our names? Whoa! So I fed our names into it, and it generates Pokedex entries based on our names. That's Whoa. fun. And I put them in this file, and we're going to draw the Pokemon that the Dex entries describe, starting with Nathan. Nathan! Please reveal your Pokedex entry. Nathan. Sounds more like a Zelda character than... Pokemon. I'm a <laughs> Nathan Yaffe, electric flying turtle Pokemon, <laughs> height three foot nine inches, weight fifty point one pounds. It lives in the jungle and catches food with its long tail. Okay. Fifty thousand volts of electricity can make an Indian elephant faint <laughs> flow through its body. That I I missed the word that. Ah, there yeah. you go. Okay. You were just stating a fact. It could <laughs> fifty thousand volts of electricity that can make an Indian elephant faint flow through its so body. So you're a turtle with uh, a long tail that and catches and food, I, and, and you shock elephants. Fly, yeah. And I live in the jungle. I just thought it was a crazy coincidence that it mentioned elephants. Yeah, in, in yours, I was well, like, I would Damn. never, I would never harm an elephant. Well, it could make. Yeah, an you have elephant. the potential to, though. Yeah, it's how you keep them, you know, in line. Yeah, okay. and that keeps you awake at night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about your power yeah that's his uh ability that's your pokemon ability you got the insomnia <laughs> you can't be put to sleep because you're too busy worrying about the elephants you could shock you're like what if i hurt them like i know i never would but but what if i did it could happen it could happen what if it's an accident <laughs> with, my, I, with my tail I live with myself Nathan. Nathan. Yeah, that's in my mind. That's what I'm thinking. But out loud, it just sounds like Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> Those turtle sounds that I make. <laughs> so it's a flying turtle. So it's a blue oh. shell from oh. Mario. Oh, oh clever. Mario's How blue shell. Yeah, very derivative. <laughs> Get some like shell stuff. I, I do want to mention also that mm -hmm. I did various combinations of like capitals and spaces in our names to see which one was the funniest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there were a, a couple that mentioned Indian elephants specifically. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and harming them? Uh, I don't remember what the <laughs> other one had to do with them other than that they were there and I thought it was funny that they were there. Indian elephants, which are not Pokemon, th those yeah. are real animals. Yeah. So they shouldn't even exist in the Pokemon world. Yeah, I mean, why isn't... is the Pokedex using <laughs> actual animals? Well, I mean, isn't that just an like a running thing with Pogies? Because you know, like Pikachu is a mouse. It's described as a mouse. I it is that's true. So we know what a mouse is. Huh. Huh. Ash looks huh. at Professor Oak and looks at the Pokedex entry for Pikachu, and he's like, "What's well, a mouse?" And Professor Oak's just like. I don't know, it felt it felt right. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Doesn't it just sound like it's a mouse? Like, yeah, he's mousy. Look at him. 
Yeah. Yeah, they have the word mousy, but not mouse. Yeah. So he was, he worked backwards from there. <laughs> they worked in reverse order. Yeah. But I mean, aren't there things like you can see fish in Pokemon? All the fish are Pokemon fish. Oh, some though. of them look like normal fish. Yeah, but they're pokey fish. Pokey fish. Is the only thing that separates Pokemon and real animals the fact that Pokemon say their names a lot and also have like control over the elements? <laughs> this feels like a d distinct disadvantage for regular I mean, some animals. cultures would argue that like regular animals have control over the elements. Yeah, yeah, but not in a way that they're like a literal lightning rod, you know? I mean... Or like are constantly on fire. Uh, have you ever seen an eel? An Damn. electric eel? Damn. It can shock you. <laughs> when you see it. When you see it and when you touch it, even more so. <laughs> and an elephant, they can put water in the trunk and they can squirt it right back out at you like water gun. They're also <sighs> big. Yeah, they're also big. That's yeah. an element. <laughs> the element of bigness. The element of elephant. The They're element big. of elephant. <laughs> this is cute, Nathan. It's a turtle. Yeah, I like where you're headed with this so far. It's just drawing a turtle with a big tail. That's what Pokemon are. Should it yeah. look like me? Should it doesn't have to. Should it have like my sort of face? It doesn't have to. You can give it a to. beard. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm not here to control you, Nathan. This is a cute Pokemon, though. Thank you. It's just like a, a critter. A menace to the elephants. Yeah. An anti Nathan. Lives in the jungle. It's a jungle turtle that flies. This and is like the dark passenger that lives inside your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the, the little part of your mind that says, but what if I shocked an elephant? No. And then your other part of your mind is like, no, we would never do that. We wouldn't do that. We're too nice. But what if you're but what not if nice? I'm not nice? What if I shock an elephant with 50,000 yeah, yeah. volts of electricity? <laughs> we could make it faint. It's just my usual monologue. That's your usual monologue? Yeah. You wake up every morning and say, what if I shocked an elephant with 50,000 volts of electricity to yeah, make it faint? Yeah, but then I remember I'm just a little guy. And I'm like, eh, it'd be too difficult to do. Karina likes to wake up to a nice thought experiment. Yeah. And the same thought experiment every time. Yeah, <laughs> what if I were... An electric turtle, mm -hmm. and I had the ability to shock an elephant. Would I? So far, the answer has been no, but you never know when that's going to change. Yeah, one of these days, the answer is going to be yes. And You're going to wake over. up. You'll be that electric turtle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when the answer is yes, you become the turtle <laughs> and fly immediately to the jungle <laughs> in to, haste to do your dark work. <laughs> This is a fun shape. Oh, no. <laughs> what is this? Is this what this? I think it is? Yeah. A plug face. Oh, good. That's vile. I good love Lord. it. Lord. Because he kind of looks like Shy Guy too now. <laughs> is this stupid? Or no, is it I love good? it. It's, I, I was think just it's surprised. Fun. I think it's fun and surprising. Okay. Well, this kind of changes... Oh my goodness. The direction. Like, what if it's all. What? Let's, let's, let's like. Well, yeah. what if it's like one of those pogies that has like different forms? Oh, like a Rotom? Kind of. Like the deer or the weird poodle where it like, like has different cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one, you can plug different things into the head. It can have different heads. Yeah. You could plug in like a vacuum cleaner <laughs> yeah. or a toaster. Yeah. Then what if, okay, but then it should just be like the, the other plug for the oh, tail. Right? Yeah. So it can plug into itself? Well, because it's, 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 it's doing the electric current flows through it. So yeah. it's, it's just sort of like a turtle like surge protector. Yeah, it is. It is. Or a <laughs> tiny extension cable. <laughs> I think this is a fun design. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we did get a Pokemon that's like just magnets. Yeah. You know? So this, people this love is not that far one. reach. Everyone's always like, Magnabite! Yeah! People get together. Fucking magnet. <laughs> love this guy! Yo! How there does he is. even work? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on Magneton, bro. Three Magnemites together? Should just be all plugs. Did you know that about Magnezone? 
shut up a whole, shut the a fuck whole zone up. a whole you're zone. telling me a whole zone yeah are you out of your mind bro no no it's real i swear how do i get there i want to go to the magna <laughs> I zone i want to go to the magna zone i'm get never coming zone. back magna i'm leaving my zone. family <laughs> they can fend for themselves i don't care anymore <laughs> <laughs> they'll understand it's magna it's zone magna zone they know what this means to me i like that this is like a british <laughs> they're like british plugs are they? Aren't those the, the three flat ones? Aren't those the British ones? I don't know enough. Because our ground one is circular. Yeah. That's true. I think it is the British ones are the okay, three flat ones. This is, That's another thing. This is how plugs work yeah. in Pokemon world yeah. in the jungle. The British way. Well, aren't the Japanese ones kind of like that too? Or are uh -uh. they just like the two? They're closest to the American ones, but the difference is that the Japanese ones are the same size. Where one of ours is bigger, and then sometimes we have the ground one, which is the circular bottom one. Right. <laughs> Things don't match the aesthetic now. <laughs> I think you might be overthinking it a what little. If it's yeah. like, what if it's fans? What if it's like... Sure. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> have it be fans. Oh, that's how he flies around. <laughs> he goes... <laughs> it sounds like a drone. Yeah. <laughs> you always know he's coming. He's not stealthy. You look up, he's hovering above you with his little arms dangling. He's looking at you. Hi. <laughs> you know you're about to get 50,000 volts. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you are an elephant. Straight to the dome. <laughs> you're going to say dick. Straight to the dick, 50,000 <laughs> volts. Is this Pokemon's name the Shocker? That's not it's not no, how it's Pokemon Nathan are named. Yaffe. It's yeah. Nathan Yaffe. It's, name, it's number 894, Nathan oh, Yaffe. You're right, you're right, you're right. I apologize. Isn't that already a number? Not anymore. I'm going to look who that is. It's Nathan Yaffe. <laughs> look at him go. This is wow. cute, Nathan. I like this. Yeah. Thank you. You know. I like we Nathan got, Yaffe. We, we got there. I like Nathan Yaffe. Controversial take. Eight, nine, four. Yeah. That's Regilecki. What the hell is a Regilecki? One of them stupid Reggies. Oh, is that all of, of that. the characters from yeah. Skate the Infinity combined? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we should do another episode of combining full cast of characters, and I got dibs on that one. Oh, that'd okay. be fun. <laughs> Nathan, great work. This we're is getting cute. we're getting rid of Regilecki to Yeah, put no one wants that Nathan one. Nathan Yaffe in. Yeah. Okay. It's official. It has been done. I'd like to draw now, please. Okay. Then do it. All right. Let's take a look at the Jacob Andrews Pokemon. Oh, boy. Number 761, Jacob Andrews long leg Pokemon. What? It is a bug ghost. It's <laughs> one foot, two inches tall. <laughs> Just and, like you. And 14 pounds. It it's collects guy. slime and carries its findings back to its den. It can understand human speech, so it is very popular as a pet. What? As he can understand, but he cannot speak. Other Pokemon, which are... She's just like, what are you popular. saying? You know when you get a pet, you want it to understand human speech. That's, like, crucial. Well, I do like that Joy kind of understands what I'm saying. All yeah, but... Pokemon understand at least the attack moves that you tell them to do. <laughs> but not like Jacob point. Andrews does. No. A true understanding, a deep understanding. Yeah, Jacob Andrews is an English major. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that when Pokemon learn moves, they're truly just learning what the trainer wants them to do and they say this name of a thing? And they've like learned the trick, basically. Like dogs learn sit and they know they have to sit. Pokemon no. use like slash. That would be, and they really have yeah, to slash. that would be kind of funny because some of the names of moves are really stupid. <laughs> they no, can Pokemon act like they literally understand everything you're saying, but they they can only memorize four moves at a time. They forget. Yeah, they forget. They forget how to tackle when they learn <laughs> body slam. They're just like, what do you mean? What is a tackle? What is a tackle? I know. I don't know that. Oh, it's long leg Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't forget that. Among That's us? crucial. Wait, what are you drawing? That's Among Us. I'm I'm shaping it out. It's got a little worm. Worm with long legs. Maybe a penis. It's also a ghost. So... Yeah, it's also a ghost. I haven't decided yet <laughs> how I'm gonna sort of get that in here. Um. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Well, he's... I mean, I think he's out on one of his slime. Runs. <laughs> He's collecting some Looks slime. Like a... <laughs> oh. 
oh, he's inter- a really fun walk. <laughs> it looks like an internal organ. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look the kidney. better as I go, okay? Yeah. I like it. Can yeah. you like can you freaking let me cook? Actually, I am. I'm saying no. yes. Stop trying to cook while we're recording an episode. We need you to draw. It's got to have its big uh-huh. slime container container yeah on its back it's a it's a death stranding but for slime should the slime container be like part of it Ooh, oh, i think built that in makes slime sense container. yeah oh. slime receptacle yeah built can you imagine having a built-in <laughs> slime receptacle it's called my nose oh you put slime in there well the slime Yes. Comes from deep within the nose and then collects in the the shallows of the nostrils. Oh, my slime receptacle okay. is my mouth. Um Okay. <laughs> what? I thought we were all sharing. Yeah. <laughs> well see now you you've sort of changed my game here. Oh nose oh. bug. <laughs> oh. So maybe it's a nose bug ghost. Yeah. And it's going to have like little hollow eyes. Oh, yeah. Which is how you know it's a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> you will know it by its hollow eyes. This is like, <laughs> oh, what was that show on Nickelodeon from when we were kids? Was it Guts? The one that had the big nose that you had to like go and climb into and get stuff out of? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's like it was that, just but one it's... of them weird ass game shows. Yeah, it's gained sentience. <laughs> it became <laughs> alive and it's crawling away. Oh, yeah. More legs makes it a bug. Yeah, and it's long legs Pokemon. And it's long legs Pokemon. This, they are long. This is in the tradition of Pokemon where there'll be several different sort of attributes they could have chosen as the descriptive feature and they just pick one at, at seemingly at random like yeah they yeah they could have called it the freaking nose face pokemon but they're like well, no nose no. pass already had that oh yeah. that's true so this one's the long legs this one's no long, other long pokemon legs. no pokemon. other pokemon no. has long legs name one other pokemon that has long legs you can't these you can't. legs aren't even that long it can't be it's only a, it's a, a, foot, a tall. foot tall of a Pokemon. But in comparison to the rest. Proportionally. I just want to say before comments come at me, the show was Double Dare. Oh. I can't yeah, believe you confused Double Dare and Guts. Yeah. Two very distinct <laughs> shows. From, from Berserk. <laughs> yeah, Guts is a character from Berserk and Double Dare is a Nickelodeon show and not a character from Berserk. <laughs> So shut up, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think about mouths. Oh, I thought that was a front butt. <sighs> <laughs> were, you, were you panicking? Yeah. I mean, it is where the legs sort of come together, so it could have been a front butt. Oh, terrifying! Lamprey mouth. Maybe lamprey mouth. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of those Pokemon designs you see and you go, that's not a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you go, mm, I don't know about this one, gang. <laughs> no, this is a Pokemon. If I see this in the overworld, we are leaving. <laughs> this is a Pokemon. This is Jacob Andrews. You'll barely see it. It's so small. Number 761. Everyone loves this one. You just see the top of its head covered in slime. Sort of drip and slime as it goes. This is one of the ones where in like the new games, since they're all in the overworld now, it does charge at you. Yeah. It goes. I just yeah. want to remind you all that it's very popular as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> because it understands you. Because it understands you. Yeah, and speech. for no other reason. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, so just so like, well, you... it's a bit strange and. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it, it's, uh, it's got slime, and but it does oh. understand what I'm saying, so that's pretty lit, I guess. <laughs> it understands just a, what you're saying, but it can't of, <laughs> respond. A yeah. lot of people in the Pokemon world need therapy. Yeah, and they've they've you know kind of gotten this guy as a substitute. Yeah, they this just is talk at this guy. it's a therapy animal. Yeah, emotional support, Jacob Andrews, and it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell it vomits. all of your like thoughts and it goes 
what if it like coagulates your traumas into like a slime and then he barfs it out and it feels very cathartic oh yeah that's probably i feel like ghost pokemon always do stuff like that yeah, yeah something strange your or yeah something. that's why it has like the little like sucker mouth it'll like latch onto you like a leech and be like i think i want it to have like this <laughs> yeah it, it does that to all of your negative feelings yeah and turns it into slime and yeah. then collects the slime and then, but also sort of drops <laughs> the slime. Just don't eat the slime. <laughs> no. You don't want to know what happens. <laughs> It'll come back twice as bad if you eat the slime. Yeah. Because it's combined with all the other negative energy it's eaten. <laughs> this is a really funny design. <laughs> Rick and Morty looking ass. <laughs> It's not. It's Jacob Andrews, the Pokemon. It's very popular as a pet. People love it. Amazing. It's awful. It's great. I I'm really it. into it. I yeah. love it. It's a cool design. It's one of those ones that I would like Ugh, when I first saw it, but over time I would come to champion it and defend it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, you're so stupid for not understanding the appeal of this weird little freak. You're so stupid for not understanding the appeal of Jacob Andrews. Well, yeah. But it understands Everyone you. Everyone is saying this. You don't understand <laughs> the appeal, but it understands you. Yeah. <laughs> it's listening. I want to see Karina's. Me. Okay, well, it's good that I'm done then. Karina. Yes, me. Reveal your Pokedex entry and read it for us, please. Karina Farrick. See Pokemon. <laughs> Grass poison. I 24. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> 10 inches weight 1518 pounds wow it eats six kilograms of trucks a day trucks <laughs> <laughs> karina farrick's beak can seem very strange <laughs> <laughs> it's truly giving us so little other than that it's absolutely huge and eats a lot of trucks, it eats trucks. <laughs> okay well it's a it's a seed it's a this it's isn't a seed even my Pokemon. final form <laughs> i'm still a babby this Honestly, the the Karina Pokemon sounds like it would be a Stephen King novel that they would have made into a movie, and everyone's like, you know, twenty years later, like, do you remember that really weird Stephen King? And people are like, oh my god, I thought I dreamt that in a fever dream. The one about the giant seed yeah. that eats trucks and has a strange beak. <laughs> Because it's like an alien sort of feeling thing that eats human trucks. Human trucks. <laughs> human trucks. <laughs> trucks. Not our human trucks. <laughs> I mean, anything but that. They made it to combat, what was it, the racist truck? Am I confusing this with Supernatural? I think so. No, there I are think, several Stephen on. King stories that involve sentient vehicles that yeah. try to murder people. I think maybe the supernatural one was the racist one. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Stephen King's were racist. Yeah, they just hated all. They were racist against the human race. Yeah, which, yeah, that's you know, true. All trucks are naturally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unless they're human trucks that are on our side. Please, no human trucks. Yeah, okay. first they they made the human trucks to battle the other trucks, but they ended up joining forces with the regular trucks. So and then, so they, then made they, the they, they made, they made Karina the seed. They made Karina Farrick. Pokemon. To eat everything <laughs> so that the world could be at peace again. It was Supernatural that had the, <laughs> the racist, racist truck. truck. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My bad. <laughs> Common mistake. <laughs> it happens to all of us. Well, because I know Stephen King had some sort of like truck based horror. Yeah, I mean, we multiple. watched one of them together. Did we? Yeah. A well, while we, ago. We watched like we showed them scenes from it. Oh, oh right, right, right. Where the, the trucks can control themselves. I think it may have been called trucks. Yeah. Yeah. As then, I recall. Yeah. And then they get into a helicopter, but it turns out the helicopter is also a truck. <laughs> it's also considered a truck. <laughs> For the purposes of how big is twenty four feet? <laughs> It's twice as much as 12 feet. No, thank you, Jacob. <laughs> it's I'm six feet tall, so it's four times my height. It's four Jacobs tall. Yeah, if you stacked me okay. four times. So a truck is maybe like two Jacobs, right? I'm usually as tall as a truck. Gosh. Unless it's like a Unless semi. Unless it's like a big truck. Yeah, what kind of truck we talking? I guess we'll find out. I guess, it, you know, the tire height also. Like a monster truck. Yeah, like if you get... <laughs> 
those big tires six kilograms of trucks is not a lot of truck now that i think about it what yeah i guess that's like how much does an average truck weigh if it's a semi okay if it's a semi don't they usually have like two ton limits on certain roads i'm looking it up thank you julia we got to get all our truck facts straight the average weight for a standard pickup truck weighs between 4,000 to 7,000 pounds. So I am lighter than a truck. How, how oh, many... My Pokemon is lighter than a truck. <laughs> I got the conversion here. Yeah. Six kilograms is 13 pounds. Okay. So you're what? you're just you're just sort of nibbling on trucks. Yeah, you're taking a very little bit off the truck when you eat it. Like the yeah. truck goes by and you take like the mirror. <laughs> yeah, you're taste you're just taking a little taste. A You're, little truck taste. Yeah. Oh, it's like an egg. Seed egg. Yeah. Seed egg. Oh. Where's the trucks? <laughs> God, I'd hate to see what this becomes when it evolves. It's so scary. <laughs> There's a bunch of truck parts. <laughs> yeah. Like has to get a, a metal typing in there or a steel typing, I mean, somewhere in there. It's weird that it's grass. Like this is the most basic typing. <laughs> when this Pokemon evolves, does its name become Miss Farrick? <laughs> Please call me Miss Farrick. I'm an adult now. I'm no longer a seed. Yeah. I'm no longer a seed. Please I, take I me seriously. Respect. Karina was my seed name. <laughs> Unless it's like the next stage is a middle evolution, then it could be like your teen form. So it's like a a nickname you've decided you want to be called and no yeah. one wants to call you that name. It's your deviant art name. It's Rio Kage. It's Rio Kage. <laughs> <laughs> That's my deviant art. Yeah. And then it evolves into Dilphosaur finally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your adult name. <laughs> Your legal adult name. Yeah. Let's give it some teeth. Ooh. Part beak, of the beak teeth. Beak teeth. Beak. To shred parts off of the trucks. Because yeah. I'm just, you can't eat like all of it at once. You need to, you need to savor it. Yeah. You have to <laughs> like sear, not sear. Sear? <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you could sear it, I think that would make it taste even better. But yeah. If you have like a fire type friend, you can sear it. <laughs> I hope Julia is a fire type. I hope so. We could eat trucks together. Just girly things. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Oh, uh, just searing some trucks. And- yeah. <laughs> Eating some trucks with Hanging the out girlies. <laughs> I was thinking I'd eat about six kilograms of truck maybe today. It's my usual diet. I'm on a pretty strict diet. But any less than six kilograms of truck, I just don't feel full. Yeah. yeah. And if I if I eat more than... Get a little sluggish. Actually, yeah. I'm, I'm not able to really uh, do my oh, other... God my other stuff <laughs> draw a truck draw a truck it's gonna be Lagoshi truck the only truck i know the only truck i recognize <laughs> the only truck i respect yeah <laughs> check out drawfee on twitch yeah if you subscribe to uh drawfee on twitch you can use our wonderful very uh versatile emote Lagoshi truck. <laughs> yeah, it's good for any situation. Yeah, yes. You never know. You never know when you're gonna need a Lagoshi truck. And there's two say. parts, and so you can combine it with other emotes. It's great. And um, we we did a while ago now at the release of this a Drawfee Hunger Games episode uh, on true. Twitch, where and you can find it on Drawfee Extra, where we did a Hunger Games simulator with Drawfee characters, and Lagoshi Truck was one of them. So yeah. if you want to know how Lagoshi Truck fared. Yeah. In the Hunger Games, you should go watch that one. Yeah. yeah. It was a very good time. <laughs> very good and stupid time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's my son. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he's a little uh little scrunched on the on the nose, but it's cuz he's injured. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're just going to lose 6 kilograms worth. Yeah. For of yourself today. Today. Yeah. Don't come back. Just like the license plate and, you know, some of the truck bed contents, whatever was in there. Oh, he's crying. Yeah, it hurts. This is a tragedy. This Pokemon is biting his ass. It's eating ass. (laughs) But Jesus said to never. (laughs) Pokemon are not bound by the laws of Jesus. No. (laughs) Pokemon are not Christians. No. Mm -mm. Quite, (laughs) Quite the opposite, I'm told.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were one of the many things that were considered satanic. Yeah. What has it been considered satanic? Let's be real. Have we been considered satanic? Yeah. Probably. It wouldn't be that far of a reach to get yeah. us there, I don't think, considering the things we've drawn and said and done. Why are they taking these dumb suggestions and making even dumber drawings <laughs> that doesn't sound like good influence on our children yeah, they should make smart drawings the lord because the world of drafi is the world of the demonic <laughs> of the satanic <laughs> damn it's true though yeah hail satan is that truck ribs truck yeah. ribs it's the bones of toe mater <laughs> 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 He's God, dead this is now. like torturous he would have your pokemon would have had to eat him over like so many days well like months. he should have driven away but he didn't he got cocky <laughs> <laughs> he was he like thought, i can get away at any time yeah so Dis I'll just wait. disney will save me well look at you now look yeah you now. now you're bones your car bones do the cars in cars have car bones do you think audience let us know. Yeah. If you think the cars and cars have car bones. <laughs> Would the chassis be the bones? It's like an exoskeleton, but there's also an endoskeleton of cars. All the yeah, rods the, the and the chassis would be the the bone, the in, the internal bones. Chassis. Chassis. And like the axle? Well, chassis. Ch <laughs> chassis. <laughs> chancy. The chancy. Chancy is a Pokémon. Yeah. Yeah. The chancy of my Toyota is new. Chancy. Chancy. There. Oh, she's a Terrifying. <laughs> Just rolls at you. <laughs> it doesn't even roll because like its face is here. Does it need legs? Oh. oh. It scurries. It does a little scurry. Yeah. It, it does, does a big scurry because it's huge. Yeah, yeah. Those are little roots. Oh, like little root vines. Yeah. That's how seeds if work. If you're a truck and you get caught by this, you deserved it. It's very fast. How fast could it be? It's very fast. The legs are so small. It's very fast. But it absorbs all of the speed of all the trucks. Yeah, it that's part of why it eats trucks to go faster. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Here we go. It evolves into a very high speed Pokemon. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go. I love it. <laughs> gotta yeah. Go. <laughs> Great job, Karina. Thank you. It's a very good description. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Julia, getting let's here. let's get you in last. Me. Julia, reveal your Pokedex entry. Okay, number six thirty. Julia Le Petit, Ninja Pokemon, Rock. What? My height is two foot ten inches. My weight is twenty six point two pounds. It rarely shows itself in public. Oh, that's true, though. <laughs> Good fortune comes to those who see Julia Le Petit. It starts to become active once night falls. <laughs> active. Mm. An active rock ninja. Only at night. A yeah. tiny little rock ninja. What happens when she activates? And it's rare that you see her. Yeah, but it brings good fortune if you do. I'm a two foot tall rock ninja. Yeah. <laughs> You're a two foot tall rock ninja. Just like in real life. It rarely shows itself in public. I gotta be like, okay. 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 Two foot. Two. <laughs> You're really uh, harping on this two foot. Two foot frame. Well, I'm a, I'm a rock. Ass along your back. What? <laughs> <laughs> you call her name. <laughs> you rarely see her. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a good rock shape. Thank you. The fact that it's a ninja also seems to imply that maybe it does um, assa <laughs> assassination. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So I guess the, the good fortune is if you see it, it won't assassinate you. Yeah, if, you, if you've spotted her. She's like, oh, you got All right, <laughs> All right you guess get to you live. Guess you live. <laughs> <laughs> what in the little guy is this? A little guy. It's a little guy. Hey. <laughs> Julia's drawing Pokemon, which means she's drawing a guy. I need mean, a rock like, guy. I feel like the rest of y'all got things that kind of qualify as Pokemon. Mine's was a freak. <laughs> Yours was a giant seed that ate trucks. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Yours was a game freak. Game Whoa. freak. The prophecy foretold. 
Put a rock on a rock. That's, That's a, a Pokemon. Rock. Oh. <laughs> this looks like a little chicken nugget. <laughs> What's it got on his head? Oh. It's got a bite taken out of it. <laughs> Is that the brain? No, it's got some like grass growing on it. Yeah, it's it was, got oh, moss. It was, it was dormant for a little while during the day. The grass grew, the moss. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little beret. Yeah. Whoa, the French. French rock. <laughs> My favorite genre. French rock. <laughs> I only listen to French rock. Yeah. What else can I use? What do rocks got? What do rocks got? Sand. 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 They've Me. got they've got the different <laughs> the different types of rocks. Some rocks have striations. There's sedimentary <laughs> rocks, yep. and igneous oh, rocks, and, and metamorphic. Don't forget those metamorphic ones. Uh, and that's oh, yeah. all. <laughs> Damn. I know about rocks. Cr crystals. Y'all remember middle school science? Yeah, crystals. Those are those exist. Those are rocks can have crystals, like a geode. A geodude. Yeah. Geodude doesn't have any crystals. Well, they're on the inside. Oh. You gotta crack his ass open. I would never. <laughs> just as I would never electrocute an elephant, I would never crack open a geodude. Well, then you're not gonna get it as tasty geodes. Didn't Thomas Edison electrocute an elephant? I don't I'm sure. I don't know, but he did like a lot of like shitty things, right? Yeah. There was an episode of Bob's Burgers, I think, about the elephant that Thomas Edison electrocuted. Hmm. But I don't know if that's <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I, I got that's, admit... that's the appropriate response to what I'm, I said. I'm in I'm in the seat that's furthest away from the screen now. A little peek behind the curtain for our audience. Mm -hmm. So I gotta admit, I did kind of like drift out of the conversation and I came back to Thomas Edison electrocuting an elephant. Well, it's just because yeah. they brought up... I don't remember that from Hamilton. They they didn't... <laughs> yeah, I guess that... they. It, it was in Hamilton. <laughs> it's Thomas a Edison. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> it's originally a really disturbing and lengthy scene in Hamilton of yeah. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison an shows up and does like a whole rap about how he... <laughs> He's going to electrocute yeah. an elephant. It's it's a very long <laughs> musical number. It's one of those ones that has like movements, like Bohemian Rhapsody or Welcome to the Black Parade. Yeah. That was Lin-Manuel Miranda's Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> and they cut it from the show because it was upsetting to watch the elephant get electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about? I, you know, <laughs> this elephant has got a fry. I really hope that he doesn't die. <laughs> My name is Thomas Edison. <laughs> and we're going to have some electric fun. No, Lynn, no. <laughs> That's the first little part of it. <laughs> yeah. And it's, the story kind of grinds to a halt. <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't have that much to do with the rest of, of Hamilton's life. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was just trying. It was it was an early draft of the of the show. There are very few records of it. Yeah, exist. someone someone read the play as a whole with all of the songs and was like, "Listen, Lynn, really into it." Yeah, electrocuting the elephant. Yeah, like a, a real confusing. elephant. I don't think we're allowed to do that. In a theater? <laughs> Where do we put the elephant? Like the rest of it seems great, but yeah. this, this part in the middle. There was actually one like rare performance of the <laughs> elephant version that they did at the White House. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're very uh, strict about that video leaking, so mm -hmm. you got to look really hard for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the elephant version. <laughs> Release the elephant tapes. <laughs> Is your Pokemon just doing a little wave? Yeah, he got caught. Like, hey, so he, he was spotted like, me. Oh, oh, I guess, <laughs> yeah, I guess you, you get did it. you get good fortune now. You did it. Good job. Great. Good for you. Cool. I'm going back to my burrow. <laughs> good night. <laughs> I imagine these are like little roots that kind of grew around this guy. Yeah, this is trees. so cute. It's so cute. It's got cute a little root. sword made out of a 
like a shale shard or something. Shale shard. <laughs> shard. Shale. Oh, shale shard. Yeah. This, this is cool. This is my little guy. Yeah, I like this a lot, Julia. I'm very excited for the inevitable fan art of all of these Pokemon hanging out together. Yeah. yeah. Can our trainer be David? Yeah. Yeah. Hell we're yeah. we're kind of like David's little Pokemon. Yeah. Except we don't listen to what they say. Yeah. No. They they <laughs> ask us, please, please <laughs> make this easier to edit. Stop saying stupid shit. And having weird musical theater takes, and we go. <laughs> <laughs> we go, Jago. <laughs> and then I eat a truck <laughs> loudly. <laughs> Listen, if David doesn't get more gym badges to control us better, that's on them. Our levels are too high. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to listen. That's definitely the reason. That's the reason. Yeah. So. Help David get their gym badges by clicking subscribe. Get the subscriber badge. Yeah. And you can get a very specific badge if you support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash draw fee. Then you also get rewards with that. Ain't that nice? What's the poke what's the ninja Pokemon that I'm thinking of? Lucario? No. Lucario. You're thinking of Greninja. Yeah. Greninja. Which one's oh Lucario is like the Mew. Lucario is the one that's too. Lu Lucario is the one it's that like everyone wants to have in their party. Kiss. Oh. She's just a dog that stands like a man. Yeah, that's all it takes. And punches. Hmm. This looks like a little frog. They I was kind of going froggy. <laughs> <laughs> Olive is being real cute. <laughs> well, this right has now. been great, Julia. All these have been great. Thank you. <laughs> You're great for watching. Yeah, you. Go go to this generator. I'm sure we put the link in the description. We, we would no, never we, forget to do that. We're great. We've never forgotten job. to do anything that we've said we were going to no. do. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go and put your own name in and then make your own self into a Pokemon. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd Can you fun. imagine? It's okay to have a little fun once in a while. You've earned it. And uh, please, please like and subscribe. Check out our merch store. Check us out on Twitch. We're sorry. 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 Nathan. Jacob. We need to stop. Olive's eating the microphone. <laughs>